We are back with a first look at a new Netflix docu-series. It's about a group of young burglars who became known as the Bling Ring. More than a decade ago, they gained notoriety by targeting some big-name celebrities. And NBC News Now anchor Joe Fryer is here with more. I'm not sure why I didn't know about this yeah, story. It's this been is fascinating. Over 10 years ago. So this new docu-series features in-depth interviews with two people who were tied to the ring, a man named Nick Prugo, along with someone who was a rising reality star back then, Alexis Nyers. These days, her name is Alexis Haynes, and she told me it's time to take responsibility that the bling ring victims deserve the truth. Ooh. We're members of a burglary ring. Unlike most stories born in Hollywood, this one had no screenplay. Really? Another unlocked door. It was an unscripted series of heists directed by teens and 20-somethings who brazenly broke into the homes of well-known stars. It was like they went shopping in my closet. Their victim list was A-list. Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan, Orlando Bloom, and more. Authorities say in 2008 and 2009, the so-called bling ring stole millions of dollars in merchandise before they were finally caught. A real-life drama now revisited in a Netflix docuseries called The Real Bling Ring, Hollywood Heist. After all these years, why did you decide to sit down and take part in this docu-series? It was time to just set the record straight and for the public to have clarity on the ins and outs of what transpired. Alexis Nyers was involved in only one of the burglaries, the one at Orlando Bloom's home. While the culprits were often portrayed as fame-obsessed, Alexis says her motive was quite different. At the time, I was... A drug addict. I was addicted to opiates and I decided to take part in the Orlando Bloom burglary because I needed money for drugs. She was 18 at the time and had just started filming a pilot for a new reality show on E! called Pretty Wild. I'll say that I think the reason why the bling ring became what it did and got the notoriety for as long as it did was because at the time I was a young pretty girl having a TV show. In perhaps the show's most memorable scene, Alexis gets a copy of a Vanity Fair article about the bling ring and feels she was mischaracterized. Nancy Joe, this is Alexis Nyers. So she calls the journalist. I'm calling to let you know how disappointed I am in your story. That article would become a book, which in 2013 became a movie, The Bling Ring. I want to rob. The film says it's based on actual events, although the character based on Alexis, played by Emma Watson, is involved in multiple burglaries, not just one. It's not really at all accurate to what happened. In real life, Alexis pleaded no contest to a residential burglary charge in 2010, serving one month of a six-month sentence, including three years probation and a $600,000 restitution to Bloom. Then she was arrested again, this time for heroin possession, a violation of her parole. The judge sent her to rehab, where she finally started to turn her life around. It really was going to jail both of those times that helped me to see that I no longer wanted to live like this anymore. Over the last 11 years, Alexis has been helping others as a counselor, writing a book, hosting a podcast, and raising two daughters. They've celebrated every uh, sober milestone with me. You saying that I wore six-inch Louboutin heels to court? These days, she can even look back at this moment with empathy. It was for a long time sad to watch. Now I think it's funny. She has no regrets about the path she took to get here, though she does regret what happened to the victims. This is her message to Orlando Bloom today. I'm so sorry, and I can't even imagine how violated he must have felt. And so even though I talk about the bittersweetness of how that moment in time saved my life, it shouldn't have ever been at his expense. What do you hope people take away from your story now? I was no Mother Teresa by any means, but we can make it right. We can be free of the shame and, and guilt that we carry, and we can move on and, and live productive, healthy lives. Hmm. This three-part docuseries debuts on Netflix tomorrow. As we mentioned, the other person profiled quite a lot is Nick Prugo. His name is now Nick Norgo. He pleaded no contest to burglary charges and served one year in jail. When we reached out for him for comment, he said in part that he feels the docuseries was one-sided. As for the Vanity Fair article in that viral reality show clip, Vanity Fair says it stands by its reporting. 
on the bling ring. Hmm, so what about the other members of the so-called bling ring? Yeah, so ultimately they all ended up pleading no contest. Along with Nick and Alexis, Rachel Lee ended up serving 16 months in prison while the others were sentenced to probation and community service. And all have moved on with their lives now. Fascinating. Yeah. All, right. all right, the next Thank big you, thing on Netflix. There you go, yeah. there you go. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.